Yesterday was absolutely devastating in terms of the toll that coronavirus uh, took on uh, America. The uh, daily deaths spiked significantly, rising almost 50% from one day to the next. I mean, just huge numbers there. 1,970 Americans documented having died from coronavirus just yesterday. Or at least that's what the medical professionals want you to believe. Not everyone agrees with them. So back about a week ago, Diamond and Silk, two incredibly influential right-wing personalities, <laughs> far more influential than I am or could ever hope to be, said- No! It's, is it not true? I don't know. They're just- No, you know it's true. Here. I don't know if that's true. I don't think that's true. They're a hundred times more influential than I refuse to believe me. that that's true. You are just as important as Diamond, nope. not Silk, but Diamond, <laughs> John, I'm not even as influential as one of the two, let alone when their powers combine. But anyway, what they had to say last week was people are dying from coronavirus, but it is also being rumored that anybody that dies in a hospital for any cause is being counted as COVID-19. Is this true? We need answers. Let me provide some. No, it's not true. That's a dumb rumor. Obviously that's not true. And maybe get some answers before you convince or try to convince your viewers who have made the horrible life decision of trusting you for the news that they're just counting everything. That if someone has a motorcycle accident, they're saying coronavirus killed them. How could you possibly think that? But really fast, we talked about that at the time a week ago. And I said at the time, this is a totally fringe thing on Fox Nation. These two very well-known people. That's what counts as fringe these days. That'll become more common. And indeed, it has become more common. With Tucker Carlson saying that COVID-19 deaths are being inflated by pneumonia deaths. Pneumonia being something that he doesn't understand literally at all. Bert Hume is saying anyone that dies with COVID-19, regardless of what else might be wrong, is now being recorded as a COVID-19 death. Because yeah, it's just a coincidence that they died while having the coronavirus it wasn't related in any way. It didn't have anything to do with Brit Hume. Again, far more influential. He is a walking moron. That is all that he is. And so, like, it, Mark Levine and, like, Rush Limbaugh, all of them are now saying this. All of them are saying that for one reason or another, you can't trust those death numbers. And why, if this is such a, maybe this cons conspiracy is so deep that... All of the media figures that hate Trump and are actually inflating these numbers or the hospitals that are misreporting them. Yeah, that's why the government is reporting them too. So what how do you how do you explain that? How do you explain that the government is reporting these as coronavirus death totals? Uh, and it's not just the media or the people that hate Trump. Yeah, so we, we talked about it before the show, and here is here is my thought. So I have come up with the trick that they're gonna use mm. to get away from what you just identified. That is a serious problem. Uh, one day, Trump is gonna go in his presidential press conference and he's gonna say that they're inflated. He's gonna offer no explanation for the switch. And even if it's called out, it won't matter. That's mm. the magic trick. He's well, just yeah, gonna change his position. <laughs> it's what he did yesterday where he cast mm -hmm. aspersions on the inspector general uh, and the inspector general's office because the woman, Christy Grimm, had worked in the Obama administration before. You know, she also worked in the Bush administration and now the <laughs> Trump administration because she's not a political appointee. But oh, <laughs> well, it must have been coming straight from Obama's Chicago home. That's 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 where he got, you know, she got those numbers. Yeah, exactly. Um, but no, yeah, eventually they will settle on it because um, when the deaths had hit, I don't know, about a thousand. I think Candace Owens said, Ugh, like 7,000 people die every day from all sorts of things. Why would you care about a thousand Americans dying? Which is totally what she would have said if this was under uh, uh, Obama. Mm -hmm. um, so a thousand, that doesn't get through. They're, they're really still kind of okay with the huge number that have already died. But at some point, it becomes very difficult to imply that this is not a disaster unless you pretend that it doesn't exist. And so Tucker Carlson did a whole show last night about how things haven't been as bad as was predicted when 2,000 Americans died just yesterday. Recorded. And by the way, I'm not... I'm just going with what people like uh, Mark Levin, who's the chair of the New York City uh, Council Health Committee, pointed out that... 
people who, uh, you know, let me go to one of these because this is pretty important. He said, uh, normally in New York City, 20 to 25 people die at home each day. We are now at 200 to 215 every day, 10 times as many. For sure, nearly all the increases people with coronavirus, but not all are being counted that way. One reason that the official New York City COVID death count already high is certainly an undercount. Only people who die at home who are known to have a positive coronavirus test have the disease listed as the official cause on their death certificate. We know there are many others going uncounted. So if you die from coronavirus at home and you were never tested, that will not be counted as a death from coronavirus. Maybe someday a researcher will figure out some numbers, but in terms of the numbers we're getting today, that is not being included. And again, I'm perfectly happy to just go with the numbers that are listed and to speculate. That's totally fine. Um, but the idea that this is an overcount, no, there are many reasons to believe that this is a massive undercount. And even if it's not, it is an unacceptable number of people who have died who didn't need to. If our government had done what they should have done, what they were being told to do by people who understood the threat that we were facing literally months ago, these death numbers could be far lower than they are right now. And God only knows what they'll get to within a week. And you know what also is going to fuel this conspiracy theory is that black Americans are disproportionately being killed by the coronavirus and infected yes. with the coronavirus because they're disproportionately lower income and they have to go to work. And they, you know, now we're like weeks away from Mark Levin basically blaming them for it, saying, oh, you know, it's because they had such bad health care and took such poor care of themselves beforehand. That's why they're all dying from the coronavirus. This should not be a national problem. Let's all go back to work immediately and continue going to our Kenny Chesney concert or whatever terrible music we like. <laughs> Yes. And let's be let's be very clear. So there are two. There's a Mark Levin and I believe a Mark Levine that we've talked about here. Sorry. One is a right wing idiot. The other is the New York City Council of Health head. So sorry, those are different sorry, people. Sorry, sorry. You're right. <laughs> one you is on the right side here. <laughs> um, I, I still don't remember which is which, but fine. <laughs> yeah. One is on Fox. The other. I don't know. I've forgotten. Um, but anyway. Uh, yeah. And so it's, it's going to become even more common. It will just be like. It'll just be the expected thing that now the the MAGA tweeters, they're tweeting about hydroxychloroquine. Tomorrow it's going to be the numbers are fake. Nobody has died or almost no one has died. And even if they died, it's Cuomo's fault or it's China's fault or it's the WHO's fault. There will be no reckoning, even if uh, in the end, 100,000, 200,000 or more Americans die. There will be no reckoning for it. And that is consequential for the election especially when you potentially have a candidate now who is saying that Trump doesn't have blood on his hands and he doesn't want to get into a political fight over coronavirus. He, in fact, wants to work with Trump to deal with this. Like, what, what, if, if that's the recipe, what are we making? What happened to him being an aberration? No, he can't help himself. Biden can't help himself. Yeah. Ah. 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 Check out the Damage Report podcast each day, wherever you get your podcasts, whether Pocket Casts or Stitcher or iTunes. You can join me as I give you the news and stories you want with a range of co-hosts and interview guests jumping in on the fun each day. Again, that's the Damage Report, wherever you get your podcasts. And if you get them at iTunes, don't forget to rate and review. Sometimes I'll read them live on the show.